Hey guys, Nick here with Nightlife Kennel. So I've got this great idea. A um, little backstory about my idea first. Um, back in high school, middle school, high school, and a little bit afterwards, I was really big in archery. I used to shoot the local 3D circuits quite a bit. I won a few, uh, few tournaments, and uh, it was nothing amazing, but I really did enjoy it. But more than anything, I really enjoyed the sport of archery, and I always have. I've always kind of kept a bow around. But I haven't touched one in about four or five years. I got rid of my compound. I've got a few long bows and a few recurves sitting around. I tinker with occasionally, but really I haven't picked up a bow and shot one in three or four years. Got the bright idea. I've always liked to do things that either nobody's ever done before, think outside the box, or maybe only a few people have done. I got the bright idea that I would love to knock out a coon out of a tree with my dogs underneath and me training it at night. I thought that would be a great idea. So I did a little research, looked on YouTube. So far, unless I have yet to find them, the only person I've seen has done this at night with dogs under the tree is Tim Wells, which of course he's a master archer, everybody knows him. He even hunts bumblebees with a bow. So, you know, um, of course if anybody's gonna have a video, it's gonna be him. But I wanted to do this myself. So what I've had to do is I had to go out and pick up a brand new bow. I didn't want to buy the most expensive because I didn't know how long I was gonna stay in this. So I just bought a bear archery bow, full package, for film stream. Uh, I think I got on sale for like 250 bucks at the end of uh, deer season. Went on Amazon, I found a dozen arrows for like 36 bucks because I knew flinging arrows into a tree, um, they're gonna get lost and I didn't wanna have a whole lot of money in this. Bought me a brand new release because I couldn't find mine. And uh, we're down here at the range right now. This is where my dad sights in his bow down his property. And uh, basically what I'm gonna be doing right now is I'm gonna have you guys follow me along with me. I'm gonna have to relearn and re-educate myself the techniques for accurate shooting with the bow. Um, I need to get the bow side in and it's gonna take me all summer. I'm gonna shoot this thing all summer long. It's April 1st right now, April Fool's 2020, but this is no joke. Um, you guys are gonna follow me along with me through the whole summer. I'm gonna show you my progress. Hopefully I'll get better and better. I've even got some interesting ideas on how we're going to uh, put something up in a tree and get some practice shooting up. All right, guys, so we got our bear bow right here. Got our little cheap uh, Chinese arrows. Now, the actual release I'm going to be working with, I did go uh, all out on that deal. I believe this is a True Ball Fang 4. Um, it's a thumb release. I really like this. When I used to shoot competitions, I used to use a back tension where you hold your wrist upside down. So, uh, it's a little bit different than that, but uh, pretty nice release. Go ahead and let you guys see that. So, like I said, I'm only six or seven yards from the target right now, but my main goal with all this is not accuracy. It's getting my form down and getting my muscle memory started up. So a lot of repetition. Like I said, here it is April. We've got until uh, October 2020 and we're going to get started right now. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. For some cheap Amazon arrows, didn't do too bad. Like I said, I was about seven or eight yards. Um, I was trying to be a little accurate, but my main focus was my form. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna step back to about 20 yards, and we're gonna see where this uh, pin is hitting at, and uh, go from there. 
All right, guys. So now we're back at 20 yards. I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and see where this first pin is landing, and uh, basically see if it's uh, it's on or if I need to adjust the pin. Any. That 20 pin's actually doing pretty good. We'll go ahead and put a few more down range. For a little $250 bow, I'm actually pretty impressed with this thing. there guys first day out here with the brand new bow and the chinesium arrows and uh, 20 yards we're on uh, this is not tied a group as I would like if I was uh, either you know hunting whitetail or whatever or in competition but uh, for basically what I'm doing this is a great group and for my first time in several years grabbing a bow I'm really impressed with this and I'm actually impressed with that bow being only $250 bow so hope you guys enjoyed this I want you to go ahead and like subscribe and tell your friends about this journey we're making because I'm gonna get you guys out here several more times I got some really unique interesting ways we're gonna get used to shooting up in a tree at a coon and getting ready for this upcoming coon season so we love you we appreciate you in the meantime trade one for me